Have you ever wondered why airliners would rather crash and compensate and equip passengers with parachutes? Jumping from a commercial plane is not as easy as you think. First of all without professional training it's very hard for anyone to just jump. Even if all passengers knew how to parachute the physical locks and pressurized cabin doors would be very difficult to open. Moreover the doors on commercial planes are much smaller compared to those on planes specifically designed for parachuting making it a real challenge not just technically but also a test of human nature. Secondly the speed of commercial aircraft can reach up to 925 km per hour, which is six times faster than that of a parachute-specific plane. Under such strong inertia if you jump from the front door, you might end up getting sucked into the engine or have several close encounters with the plane itself. Jumping in from the back door could be even worse as you might get split in half by the tail wing. Additionally commercial planes fly at altitudes exceeding 10,000 m which is much higher than the typical maximum of 5,000 m for parachuting. At such heights the air is very thin, making it nearly impossible to breathe, and the temperature drops to minus 34.4 degrees Celsius. If you still insist on jumping at that point, I could arrange for high-pressure oxygen tanks and specially designed cold weather gear for you. But you should know, it takes only about 3 minutes for a plane to fall from such high altitudes. Could you guarantee that everyone is properly geared up and ready to jump in that time? Moreover over 90% of plane crashes occur during takeoff and landing phases when parachuting isn't feasible. Considering this it seems unnecessary for commercial planes to be equipped with parachutes. Now, what do you think would happen if we installed ejection seats in commercial airliners?